um, fair words. Um, mate, how hard is that result to take after the way in which you, you played and pretty much dominated in the first half? Yeah, really disappointing. Um, like you mentioned, we, we, sh we should have been at least a couple up at half time. Um, yeah, away from home, the opposition had two extra days on us. So it was a sh quick turnaround for us, travelling from Melbourne and all the way to Newcastle. Oh, I thought they were fantastic in the first half, but you don't take your chances and, and you apply pressure on yourself. And, and that's what we just don't do at the moment. We don't apply enough uh, scoreboard pressure on the opposition. And it changes habits and behaviours with the opponent and it lifts your own team's morale. Um, and then again, I thought we started brightly in the second half, but you know, we, we, we gave away probably their, their, their best chance and, and then you know, we, we concede and we go down 1-0 away from home and you know, they kept pushing, they kept fighting. We kept going for it, but um, really disappointed um, about the result, really disappointed. Is it a big issue at the moment just finding someone who can finish with some regularity for you and maybe conjure up something out of nothing or put away those chances you are creating? 100%, 100%. It's, it's tough enough to come in middle of a season and, and, and assess everything at the club, uh, in particular your players and who can and who can't do the things that you want them to do. You know, I think you've seen a change in playing style and, and even, even their, their behaviours have, have, have changed as well. Um, there's more fight about us, but um, it, it's, it is frustrating because you can see just how many players are changed in that second half in, in the front line and, and you ask them to make a difference and, and a lot of academy players were given a chance as well. And, um, you know, they tried, but, you know, there is a, there is a, a gap there. Um, it's a big club, a proud club, and I know exactly what needs to be done moving forward um, because the fans don't deserve it. It used to be a really proud club full of, full, full of, you know, of fans, full of, you know, with the stadium's full and everything else, and they don't deserve it. You know, the people running the club don't deserve it. Um, but I said this before, I don't care about names, um, either ship up or shape out. It's, it's as simple as that, you know. I'm, you know, I'm not going to take anyone who's just going to, to go through the motions and, and just pick up a paycheck because I'm not about that. You know, I made a promise when I came here and I'm going to uphold that promise and, uh, and there'll, be, there'll be changes going forward as well. So you get the opportunity, um, you take it and, and you move forward. Is there anyone who's doing that at the moment? Sorry, he's, he's no. going through the motions a bit. No, I'm not going to name names. I don't do that. I'll be very clear when I got, came to the club that you know, names don't bother me. It's purely about performance and, and, and coming in with the right attitude and, and having a bit of pride in, in yourself and having a bit of pride in this football club because it's a very proud football club. Like I said, I've mentioned the fans, they're very proud and, and they've got nothing to cheer about and they haven't for a while now. Um, and, and I've said this before for myself, you know, it's personal coming, you know, being a guy from the area, I understand what they're about. And, um, I'll do everything in my power to make sure that, uh, that I turn things around. Roots, Joey here. When you say you know exactly what you need to do, yeah, I'm not going to. Your... I'm not going to uh, go because it's not for me to, to 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 tell or speak about. That's an internal discussion that I'm going to have with the bosses. Fair enough. And and on the subject of finding goals, then Roots, obviously you don't have. A window to bring anybody in so what can you do is it just a matter of on the training track working That's it. on movement patterns and figuring it out is it backing your players what can you do yeah all of that we just keep working we just keep working and like i said i'd be more unhappy if we weren't creating those chances we create we've been creating some really you know great chances you know and 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 that's that's what keeps me positive and and you know that's why i'll continue to be positive amongst the playing group as well and we, we played a lot of good football tonight a really some really good stuff again away from home against a team that's a lot more fresh than us um you know we shouldn't have in reality performed the way we did in the first half when you when you look at um all all, all, all those situations that i spoke about but you know, Rami, you know, Kenji, these guys are getting into great positions, you know, and, and like I said, we just keep working, keep working at it, you know, and we can't drop our heads. And, you know, that's one thing that I've seen. I've seen behaviours here where if things don't go their way, they drop their heads, they drop their shape, you know. They haven't done that. Um, but you just got to keep 
keep going and, and you've got to stay positive with them. And, and like I said, it'd be a lot, a lot more disappointed if we weren't creating those those big chances. You know, I thought I thought the goal that they called for offside, I'm not sure if you guys can tell me, did you see a replay of that? Because we saw the replay on the bench and it looked onside to me, but they were very quick to quick to put the flag up and wasn't even looked at again. So particularly after what happened last night. Um, so I was a, bit, a little bit disappointed with that because we actually did put the ball in the back of the net and, um, and on our TV screen in front of us, he looked on side to us. And Rich, just on Keanu Backus, he's played, uh, you know, he's kept playing afterwards, but that looked like he copped a very serious gash on the back of his head. How's he? He's OK. He's a warrior. He's a trooper. You know, obviously, it's, it's a very serious situation. The knock to the head, and we take that very seriously, but um, there were no signs um, at all. Probably lucky it was the back of the head, not the front of the head or the side of the head uh, or the temple or things like that. But he, he's OK. We assessed him at half-time and, and, and he wanted to keep fighting on. Do you have any other injury concerns coming out of this one or fitness concerns? Yeah, yeah. I think James Trewisi will have a scan tomorrow and it's, it makes it more difficult. You know, two of your better players, Rodwell and, and James Trewisi, you know, are missing football games You know, when you need those types. Um, particularly when you're in a situation you're in, it just makes it a little bit harder. But, you know, it gives an opportunity for somebody else to just to, to step up. You expecting anyone back for the Phoenix game on the weekend? No, no. No, from what you saw today, that that's... Uh, and, and we've got a couple of boys back at home, been organising a lot of games to, to ensure that they get their match minutes and they keep the, themselves ticking over and, and, and topping up as well. So when they're called upon, they're ready. Um, and um, we'll continue to do that.